My name is Apollos. I was born in Haiti and I moved to the United States with my family. After being diagnosed with CRDP, uh, the doctor uh, uh, admitted me at the hospital to begin with the uh, treatment with IVIG. One uh, of the biggest challenges uh, I experienced, sometimes it's very hard to find a good vein. And when you cannot, you cannot find a good vein, so the nurse try to use whatever she could find. So that, that make it, you know, much longer when we have difficulty to find a good vein. My worst nightmare was, uh, I could not see where I was going. I questioned the doctor, I asked him, you know, tough questions, you know, about what are we going to do? You know, it, it was then when I met with my uh, the specialist, he told me that the treatment was it frequent enough? So he's gonna put me in a try to try a new product that might work well for me. And the product was uh, Isentra. Isentra, immune globulin subcutaneous human, 20% liquid, is a prescription medicine used to treat primary immune deficiency in patients two years and older as well as chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy in adults. Warning, blood clots can occur with immune globulin Ig products, including Hyzentra. Before beginning Hyzentra, inform your doctor of any medications you are taking, as well as any medical conditions, especially if you have a history of diseases related to the heart or blood vessels, or have been immobile for some time. Inform your physician if you are pregnant, nursing, or plan to become pregnant. Going to, from uh, IVIG to Argentra made a big difference. Not only uh, I could administer Argentra myself, uh, it gave me uh, freedom and uh, flexibility. And I can still do other business in the house while you know, I'm taking the treatment. The great benefit with Azentra, it doesn't take much time to infuse. My doctor and I come up with a schedule of infusion that, that is very flexible. I can take it in the morning, I can take it at night, I can travel with it uh, and take it wherever I go. I love it. Hyzentra is made from human blood the risk of transmission of infectious agents cannot be completely eliminated. Before receiving any vaccine, tell the immunizing physician if you have had recent therapy with Hyzentra. See full prescribing information, including boxed warning, as well as important safety information at the end of this video or at Hyzentra.com. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov slash medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. For new patients uh, with CIDP, uh, I will recommend to do your homework. Do some research, learn more about CIDP, and mostly don't let the disease hit you twice physically and mentally. If you are a patient with CIDP and uh, you consider you know, having more freedom, you could consider Azentra. Uh, switching from uh, uh, IVIG to Azentra was a difficult for me. But my nurse uh, taught me how to infuse and uh, I did it pretty easily. And with the Premier your program, uh, they can send a nurse to your home uh, to train you and even provide uh, medications and supply to get started. I'm so grateful for Azendra. From now on, Azendra is part of my life. It's my way. Important safety information. 
Hazentra, immune globulin subcutaneous, human, 20% liquid, is a prescription medicine used to treat primary immune deficiency, PI, in patients two years and older, and chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, CIDP, in adults. Warning. Thrombosis, blood clots, can occur with immune globulin products, including Hyzentra. Risk factors can include advanced age, prolonged immobilization, a history of blood clotting or hyperviscosity, blood thickness, use of estrogens, installed vascular catheters, and cardiovascular risk factors. If you are at high risk of blood clots, your doctor will prescribe Hyzentra at the minimum dose and infusion rate practicable and will monitor for signs of clotting events and hyperviscosity. Always drink sufficient fluids before infusing Hyzentra. See your doctor for a full explanation and the full prescribing information for complete boxed warning. Treatment with Hyzentra might not be possible if your doctor determines you have hyperprolinemia, too much proline in the blood, or are IgA deficient with antibodies to IgA and a history of hypersensitivity. Tell your doctor if you have previously had a severe allergic reaction, including anaphylaxis, to the administration of human immune globulin. Tell your doctor right away or go to the emergency room if you have hives, trouble breathing, wheezing, dizziness, or fainting. These could be signs of a bad allergic reaction. Inform your doctor of any medications you are taking, as well as any medical conditions you may have had, especially if you have a history of diseases related to the heart or blood vessels, or have been immobile for some time. Inform your physician if you are pregnant or nursing, or plan to become pregnant. Infuse Hyzentra under your skin only. Do not inject into a blood vessel. Self-administer Hyzentra only after having been taught to do so by your doctor or other healthcare professional and having received dosing instructions for treating your condition. Immediately report to your physician any of the following symptoms, which could be signs of serious adverse reactions to Hyzentra. Reduced urination, sudden weight gain, or swelling in your legs, possible signs of a kidney problem, pain and or swelling or discoloration of an arm or leg, unexplained shortness of breath, chest pain or discomfort that worsens on deep breathing, unexplained rapid pulse, or numbness or weakness on one side of the body, possible signs of a blood clot, bad headache with nausea, vomiting, stiff neck, fever, and sensitivity to light, possible signs of meningitis, brown or red urine, rapid heart rate, yellowing of the skin or eyes, chest pains or breathing trouble, fever over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, possible symptoms of other conditions that require prompt treatment. Hyzentra is made from human blood. The risk of transmission of infectious agents, including viruses and, theoretically, the Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD agent, and its variant, BCJD, cannot be completely eliminated. The most common side effects in the clinical trials for Hyzentra include redness, swelling, itching and or bruising at the infusion site, headache, chest, joint or back pain, diarrhea, tiredness, cough, rash, itching, fever, nausea, and vomiting. These are not the only side effects possible. Tell your doctor about any side effect that bothers you or does not go away. Before receiving any vaccine, tell immunizing physician if you have had recent therapy with Hyzentra, as effectiveness of the vaccine could be compromised. Please see full prescribing information for Hyzentra, including boxed warning and the patient product information. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. You can also report side effects to CSL Bearings Pharmacovigilance Department at 1-866-915-6958.